This video is a day in the life of a person visiting the Raritan Valley Science and Technology Showcase event located at the Bridgewater Mall. Hey, that's me! And that's one of my friends, and we're going to be taking you around RVSCS together to give you insight on all of the epic stations that the event had to offer. First off, we have the Investigation Alley. This alley consisted of a variety of stations for people traveling by to view and possibly interact with a bunch of STEM-related things. This table over here provided information on First LEGO League. After being given flyers, I was allowed to play with the LEGOs at the end of the table. Look, I made a plane! This next table showed off a fun board game map in which two robots followed the black path. The first one to reach the middle of the map wins. A friend and I both turned on our robots, placed it on the map, and the robots started moving along the lines. This short activity was made to inspire youngsters to explore technology. My robot reached the middle first, so I spun the prize wheel in one a toy car. There were several other activities to embark upon in the investigation alley. I mean, look how cool these military grade robots are. Next up is the Community Hub, a place of fun planned events for children. We both decided to indulge in the numerous coloring activities they had. All of the children playing in the gummy bear toss was super fun to see. This pasta and marshmallow tower building station was super fun. I hope we beat the high score. To wrap up the community hub, there was the Nebula Spin Art Challenge. All right, so today we are making Nebula Spin Art. Basically in space, when a star starts to die, it puffs out and throws some gas dust away from itself. You guys are gonna get to rub The hub was definitely an enjoyable experience all the way from the tower building to this magic show. And of course, my friend and I had a little bit of a boba break in between before we explored the rest of the showcase. Next on our list is the FLL area, where kids can explore the first LEGO League competition tables or mess around in the box of LEGOs. Over here is the sensory area. Essentially, it's a quiet room filled with sensory related toys for children to get away from the hustle and bustle of the mall outside. Now entering the robot driving area, this place was packed with curious people of all ages. There were two stations of first tech challenges which had mini courses for people to maneuver robots through. And there was even a place for people to drive the massive robots we make for first robotics competitions. Lastly, at the heart of the mall was located the first robotics competition. We had 15 teams with unique robots compete in the Robot Rumble. 